This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2020. Surgical techniques such as interval slide are often used to repair large and massive rotator cuff tears, as they minimize tension at the repair site and maximize tendon mobility. However, although this aggressive technique allows for complete repair, it also carries the potential risk of devascularization in the repaired tendon. To this end, researchers conducted a retrospective study to compare clinical and radiographic outcomes of large and massive rotator cuff tears treated with either an arthroscopic complete repair with a posterior interval slide or a partial repair without a posterior interval slide for a minimum follow-up of five years. The study included 58 patients in total, with 25 patients in the complete repair groups and the remaining 33 in the partial repair group. Results demonstrated that both groups showed significant improvement in clinical outcomes at the latest follow-up evaluation, and no significant differences were noted between the two groups. Retairs were identified in 88% of the patients in the complete repair group and 85% of the patients in the partial repair group. Interestingly, when compared to the partial repair group, the patients in the complete repair group demonstrated larger retear sizes and reduced acromiohumeral intervals. Thus, considering that there were no significant differences in the clinical outcomes between the groups at the five-year follow-up period, this study suggests that it may be preferable to perform partial rotator cuff repair rather than aggressive release in large and massive rotator cuff tears to achieve complete repair.